Hey guys, so in this episode, what I'll be doing is I'll be going over, I'm just going to tweak the camera here, don't think that'll have any difference. Uh, we'll be going over kind of Todoist uh, and how you can be using this um, in the labeling system within inside it um, to make your kind of tasks and admin side of things more effective. Uh, going to give some top tips, some kind of tools there. I've got Meerkat on the side. Um, I've seen Gary V using it recently and a couple of other celebrities. Um, so alongside it, if anyone wants any questions asked, um, it's going to be kind of pumped through here. Um, people will ask some questions and that will be a great opportunity for me to answer some of them uh, based on my experience with Todoist. So the best place to start off with is uh, Todoist itself. So if you don't know Todoist, it's a task management application. It's on Android, iOS, and it also blends in in a lot of applications on your computer. So think of Gmail, Outlook, um, like Chrome extensions, Firefox extensions. They've got loads of kind of uh, built around it as well. So it's a pretty kind of big app. It's one of the fastest. It is the fastest growing cloud network at the moment. Um, and I've been using it for around a year and a half now. Now I've kind of, kind of like gone from really, really basic usage um, to going, okay, I'm going to go all in hardcore now with this. Um, and once you get all in hardcore, you kind of learn a lot of things that um, when, you needed, when you needed it in the early days could have saved you a heck of a lot of time. So um, I don't know how far you are with your stage in Todoist, um, but one, now you've probably started uploading application. Um, uploading different tasks, uploading different open loops throughout your day. Um, but there's two other features, and if you're premium, which is only £29 a month, I mean, it's quite fairly cheap, um, not £29 a month, whoa, that's not fairly cheap, £29 a year. Um, if you're using them, then it does save you a lot of time. These labelling systems and these uh, filters, that's what they're both called, labelling and filters, are really, really awesome. Um, so basically... Um, labels uh, are basically things you can tag to. It's almost like a hashtag. Um, and basically from here, you can filter out specific, um, don't want to get confused with filtering, but you can kind of uh, cordon off specific content. So for example, um, if you've got a task that you know is going to be inactive, an inactive task is anything that doesn't require a heck of a lot of energy to kind of go in and use, then labels are perfect for you because you can start clarifying um, whether that task has a specific label to it. So if it's inactive, then you can label it inactive. Um, and there's lots more ways you can do this. You can do this with context. So context is what do I need to complete this task? You can label stuff around that. So I've got some labels smartphone, uh, out and about, and also computer. And all those kind of labels are a bit of context um, where I can go in and go, okay, I've got my smartphone on me now. Let me do some smartphone work. And I click on that label, go into it, and see what tasks I can do with my smartphone. Additionally, you can do that with anything else. You can even do it with kind of contextual things like your home. Uh, I'm in my home, so therefore I'm going to do some work. Um, or it could be I'm in the office, uh, and then you can go and click in, see what tasks you can specifically do in the office. So you design it around that contextual information. Second thing is uh, you can use labels based on time. Um, and a lot of people kind of just um, don't use them as much as they should. So let's say you are waiting around uh, and you're waiting for your appointment. You're 20 minutes early because you're really eager and you want to get some tasks done just because you've got internet access, you've got some time, you're not doing anything else except you're going to scroll down your Facebook feed and get bored. So the idea is, is that you you label things like under, use a label under 10 minutes or under 20 minutes or under 30, et cetera, et cetera. And then from there, you can go in, click your label and click under 10 minutes. And then basically you've got this, uh, this list of things you can do in that period of time. Um, so let's, for example, you just had 20 minutes and you, you, you need to find tasks you need to do in 20 minutes. Let's say you've got your laptop. You can just click in and click under 10 minutes and then do two tasks in those 20 minutes while you're waiting. And then you're kind of feeling productive even though you kind of know your limits and, and extents. So you can combine that with the kind of contextual stuff. So what I need to do this and with the time as well. And blending them both together is so useful. Like when I'm waiting around in a taxi on the way home and I'm like, man, I've only got my smartphone and I've also got under 10 minutes. 
uh, right, what tasks can I do? I can see which tasks can I co collaborate with both of them. Um, I can see I've also got a viewer on Meerkat, so hello. If you want to comment, then, like, I don't know how you do it, but just comment. I don't know who it is. Um, I can check on Twitter. Um, no, this doesn't come up. Okay, it doesn't matter. I mean, thanks for watching on Meerkat so far. Um, so, going back to that, another thing you can kind of use is... Uh, so you've got context, you've got time, energy levels as well. So as I, I've said in previous episodes, inactive, active, and proactive. So active is those uh, lazy tasks. Uh, active is a kind of medium, yeah, I can create a little bit of content. And then proactive is those, yes, I'm in that mindset where I'm actually going to do something and really kind of push my work out there. So context, time, and energy levels. Um, there's a final one. Uh, but I don't want to go into detail on it because I want to share it in another episode because I want to just touch briefly on filters. Now, I've actually only started using filters recently because I was so kind of immersed in the label section. Um, and as I slowly kind of discovered a few blogs around it, um, a few things that other people put on Twitter about filters on Todoist, um, I found that filters are sweet. They're really awesome. And I think that if you're using them in the right way, you can get some really good kind of cred on this. Um, so let me just show you some of the filters that I use. Um, so I'm just going to go to the filter section here to do it. So some of the ones I've got at the moment is get some emailing done, right? And basically that filters out anything, uh, email, and anything that has a query word of email, contact, or message, or, uh, or communicate uh, in. So whatever kind of tasks I put up that have anything like that in, I can find out, you know, those keywords and then get going on those tasks. So I kind of like go, oh, I need to get some emailing done. And then click on there and I can see the, all the emails that I kind of need to get done. There could be call some people. I mean, that could be like where there's a known phone number attached or multiple numbers. Uh, creating content as well. So that's kind of anything that's tagged active or proactive. Um, and also that has content in it. Um, and then easy to get done also is, is ones that will take under 10 minutes and are inactive and are on my smartphone. So you kind of get an idea, they kind of really shuffle down. With labels, try, but kind of going back to labels, I mean filters are really great and you can start using them, start applying really random ones. The ones I just said are really good to go start going with. With labels, um, try and limit yourself to what labels you have. I mean, there's only a, a confined amount. Um, but really, um, really just like for me, I just have really basic ones. Inactive, proactive, active, under 10 minutes, under 20 minutes, under 30 minutes, because I like find tasks that on over 30 minutes, I kind of just put down and make them proactive. Um, and then an inactive tab, offline work as well. So when you're offline and you're taxi and you've got no Wi-Fi or, or you're in some other country, then you can find out what tasks you can do offline. Home and then uh, on paper as well. On paper is a really good one. I mean, it's contextual. You only need paper to do it. So that's quite, uh, pr that's actually pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to leave the episode here. I might leave a few minutes. I might just waffle now. If anyone wants to jump in on Meerkat and just ask a question, they're probably, no one's asked one yet. Um, so if anyone on Meerkat wants to ask a question, uh, that's totally cool. Uh, someone is watching it now, which is cool. I'm the other person watching it, so it only means two. I'm going to try and use this more often in my uh, kind of like talks. Uh, this one will go on YouTube. This is just Meerkat, so you can view it through Twitter. And my Twitter handle is at Francesco D uh, underscore less E A L E S. And I just want to have a, a chat with you there about productivity and potentially how I don't know how, potentially how you are using productivity and how you want to take it to the next step. And then we'll be able to see a kind of route to market there. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for your time. And I hope there was a kind of breakdown of to do its labels. Um, once you start using them, it's really, really powerful stuff. And uh, I really highly recommend, firstly, getting to do this if you don't have it. And secondly, using the label and filtering system there. There's other apps that I do want to go in detail. Wunderlist, Swipes, um, all those kind of jazz. But I just wanted to focus on to do this today. And only because I've been using it for a fair while. So thanks very much, guys. And have a fantastic week. Um, I'm not going to say subscribe or anything, uh, but just go to www.francescodelessio.com. Uh, it's in the description and uh, have a fantastic week. Um, I'm off for a, a long weekend. So thank you very much and uh, yeah, see you soon.